rainy day slug count. One, two, three, four. He's eating a mushroom. Five, six, seven. So that's seven slugs just on the inside without even searching very hard. So I need to get rid of them. So I just went around and killed all those slugs. And I went, there were the seven on the inside here. There's another one I missed. But uh, anyway, there are a lot of slugs out because walking from the entrance, just here, walking around the corner, and as far as just to this tree, I killed 50 slugs. There is blood and gore <laughs> everywhere on this poor hill. It feels like a, a total slaughter just happened, so I won't show up close. But when I got to here, I saw a slug there, and there's three more slugs that are just sitting on that grass. Can you see those? And actually, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five more slugs. But I noticed, hey, what happened to my potato? And hey, what happened to my other potato? And hey, what happened to my other potato? So looks like the boar, or the pig family, the local wild boar have found my potatoes and they've rooted up a bunch of them and uh, so it looks like I might have to harvest and see if there's any new potatoes under there to take home with me because the boars are just going to eat them and so well, that's kind of too bad because I was looking forward to uh, letting these ones go to seed and try to get some true seed from them but maybe the plant will survive I don't know I'm going to have to continue killing slugs because they're everywhere here so they're out on the prowl today this is what 50 live slugs and one snail looks like that's about uh, two and a half pounds of just slug It may look funny, but that's the concept I came up with. I couldn't really put another stake on there because there's just wood right there, so I decided that's enough. I put a lump of dirt on that side instead. Okay, today 
<clears throat> I've managed to stack up some uh, mud blocks and cover up a lot of these caves back here. So this is still exposed. But from here on, there's nothing exposed. So I've walled it up and put a lot of dirt on top. This was totally exposed and open. There were huge, huge gaps and chasms. So if there are slugs in there, it'll take them a while to wiggle out through those cracks, a few days to find the way through the cracks, those that survive. So I'm going to have to do this around the whole thing. The mud was just perfect today, just perfect. It's crumbled, crumbled on me before, but this was just perfect today. All right, better get something to drink. Very thirsty after all this. So, look at all that. Mud walls. Yesterday I got 172 slugs. Today I have 16. But right here is 17. And 18. Here's an entire family of slugs. Four of them. It's like deer coming out on a field or a meadow coming out to eat. It's ridiculous almost. Here we go. One. That's two. And we're just going to launch them out here for now. I figure they have a 50% chance or less of coming back to the mound. It seemed to me that they liked those plants that were there, so... Let's replace that with another one. Keep them off my tomatoes here, my tomatoes. It's a good tomato plant. I, I hope it's big enough that the slugs can't really hurt it. Slugs, you look closely. You should be able to see both of them. The ones on the left coming out on that little stem of the, of the tree trunk. I think what I've built here really is just a slug playground. That's all I see is slugs having fun. So these three plus that one there plus the last three I didn't film that must make what? I, s I can see I guess it'll make it 25 once I throw them out. I got tired of filming because I got busy with these guys with this one, once I remove him, this will make 232 for two days' time. And of those, I killed 60. These two slugs make it 47. That's 247, then. 247 slugs that I've moved or killed. So I'm going to look for three more and go.